I've had a request to do some psyche videos. People seem to prefer to see me talking, doing these types of things and sharing these personal stories as opposed to just listening to a podcast. So I'll try and do both for a while. And in this one, I'm going to reiterate the topics of authority and consent, but in greater depth and greater detail, as my knowledge has grown in these areas over the last year or so. Now, if I write out a document saying that I'm the master of the universe, I claim that title. I have to perform on that title. Number one. Number two, did the universe consent for me to be its master? How did I get mastery of the universe? If the universe consented to me being its master, well, that's one thing. But if it didn't, then that means one of two things. Either I took the mastery by force and I'm coercing the universe into being subservient to me and me being its master, or I'm just throwing words out into a sea of space that don't really mean anything and they're just an opinion and have no substance or weight. It's sort of the same thing with the claims that you make or I make using quantum grammar. There has to be substance to them, there has to be consent, and everything is contract. For example, in my email venues, I dub myself the vessel commander, meaning my email is a vessel of communication. No one can come through my email vessel port and tell me what my email is or isn't. Now they may not agree with the designation I've given my email as a port of communication an honorable and graceful port just like any other port of communication well that's fine they don't have to contract with me then they're with the avoidance of my contract terms and conditions why are they emailing me in the first place they're the ones that are trying to come aboard my vessel which is what any contract party does when they email you or even speak to you or come to you through your mailbox whatever it is come to your door wave at you they're all asking permission to board your vessel. Well, some of them are asking permission. Others come with uh, full of bluster and assumption presumption, thinking that they can talk to you any which way they want to, which is where your authority comes in. You, as the authority of your vessel, whatever that vessel may be, whether it's your body, whether it's your email, whether it's your mailbox, whether it's your domicile, you are the authority of that. The only way that you're not the authority is if you give that authority up. Authority is all here. And authority comes from knowledge. The knowledge of you, your position, and how to hold that position. Now many claims that I see, especially, okay, let's take the military for example. You have a chain of command. It's all done through coercion. And consent and here comes the uh, the point in fact where even the militarized police deal with this where they'll say I'm just doing my job when they're out there collecting fines for seatbelt tickets which a seatbelt is not as public safety violation because well I don't know about you but I don't need a babysitter to tell me to wear a seatbelt or not wear a seatbelt and on top of that there are no seatbelts in school buses. So the most precious creatures on the earth, our children, are in school buses without seatbelts. Why don't they have seatbelts? Well, here's an opinion. I think that they don't have seatbelts because they're not old enough to pay the fines yet. But that's neither here nor there. This is what I'm talking about, authority. And to put it in a negative condition of state, do no harm. It's that easy. If you're not trespassing on someone else, you'll be fine. Whether that's in quantum grammar or wherever, any other venue of communication or contract that you wish to engage with. It's all up to you as the authority and commander 
of your vessel, your venue, what you choose to do. Of course, you can come into joinder with other contract parties. And if you don't feel like you don't feel comfortable with taking accountability for yourself and for your actions and things like that, you can pass that on to someone else and then they would be your commander or whatever it is. They would be the commander of your vessel. And there's plenty of room for everyone out there. My personal stance on it, as if you watch my videos, you're very familiar with my personal stance. I'm with the position of peace and neutrality, maintenance of the rule one, rule equal, and the performance of the balance of the honor and the grace. That's how I do it. I meet everyone on a geometric level playing field of contract. Doesn't matter who you are. If you have a serious question and you approach me, I will immediately take steps to place our communication on a geometric level playing field because I'm not here to be misunderstood. I will never tell you that you that I don't understand your babble. <laughs> I will communicate with the consideration of the other contract party, always. And that's how things work in my construct. And that is, those are the principles that I share with my students who wish to participate in them. I'm not out here trying to recruit people. I'm not out here trying to Bible bash people, knock on people's door and telling them, hey, you should learn this. No, I'm just out here for those who want to learn it, who share a similar volition as myself. Again, as I've stated uh, in other times, I'm only authority over myself. I only hold commandership over myself. I don't have any volition to command anyone else or to control anyone else or coerce anyone else to do anything. Really, if you think about it, the people say, and I've said this in other videos, they want to change the world or they have changed the world. Well, if you look at those old uh, Colin David hyphen Wynn Colin Miller and Colin Russell hyphen J Colin Gould videos, they will tell you change is modification, modification. Is perjury. So if you hear anyone say that I'm changing the world or I want to change the world or the grammar has changed, that means it's been modified. That means perjury has been committed. And I for one think twice about things like that because I don't want to modify anything. I don't want to control anything. I just want to exist with a peaceful and neutral position and construct and teach the people who want to learn and the people who want to argue well there's plenty of venues for that people want to badmouth people and disqualify people and accuse people of goofy things there's venues for that too just not mine thank you very much for watching if you have any grammar questions as always you can email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and I will answer your quantum grammar questions to the best of my ability. Have a great day.